First at 530, the cold case cards. Tonight, we are tackling a case embedded in Warren's history. You can probably say that the scene was probably utter chaos at the onset. Eamon Jamiel was shot and killed in a shower back in 1978. The killing shocked Warren and the state. To bring in new leads in this case that has eluded investigators, detectives added it to a deck of cold case playing cards. Each card highlights an unsolved homicide or missing persons case in Rhode Island. And tonight, Iowa News reporter Steve Nielsen goes back in time to search for an answer so many have waited for. If you're from Rhode Island, you likely know the name and you likely know a lot of the details about what happened. Now you can help put an end to the mystery. Eamon Jamiel, the king of spades. They ran Warren. A very important family. Law offices, shoe stores, children's clothing and tax services. The Jamiels were a household name in the East Bay, Rhode Island town. Of 13 siblings, Eamon Jamiel was the oldest. Eamon was generally regarded as the unofficial mayor of, of town. So what happened on March 19th, 1978, or more specifically, who made it happen? It was an emotional death. The murder of Eamon Jamiel might begin months before the trigger was pulled, when he went to police to say money was missing from his store, the house of a million things. I'm talking about large amounts of money, uh, hundreds of dollars, and even maybe thousands of dollars. Projectiles in the body. Former Providence Journal reporter Wayne Wooster covered every step of the investigation. He dug through his old files with me. It was a crime of passion. Six days before Eamon's death, someone set his business on fire. Two grand juries and dozens of interviews would reveal a gun wasn't found in the burnt remains. A 32 caliber Harrington Richardson revolver was missing from the store sales inventory. The belief was that it was stolen. A week later, the testimony reveals Eamon's wife, Marcel, and their son, Jonathan, went to dinner in Newport. They came back to horror. Help me, please. Would you do something with 32 minutes, please? 33 minutes? Yes. What's the problem? I don't want to come through here. Jamiel was shot to death on March 19th. Former Channel 12 investigator Jack White re-examined the murder in 1988. His body was found in the shower. The water was still running. The old files reveal his wife said the water was still steaming. It's no gun, no fingerprints and no sign of forced entry. The autopsy would reveal 11 shots were fired. Police believe the gun was likely that 32 stolen from his store. The gun didn't hold 11 bullets, though. It meant that somebody had to uh, stand there and reload while Amy McDaniel was dying, which is pretty cruel and very cold. That night, the investigation to find the killer took an unexpected hit. You can probably say that the scene was probably utter chaos at the onset. They made the rather fatal mistake of, of, of not posting a guard on the, on the murder scene on the second floor bathroom overnight. Marcel cleaned the crime scene. When they showed up the following morning, the room was spick and span. It may have held the evidence that has eluded them for a decade. And the murder weapon was never found. Charges were never filed. Yes, it has dried up. Current Warren Deputy Chief Roy Borges says they need more to put it all together. We looked at every uh, possible um, scenario that could have happened. We spoke to different people around the, the community, the neighbors. I think it'll only be solved if somebody comes forward. Somebody who can finally solve a 41-year-old mystery. Do you know who killed Eamon Jamiel? Call 1-877-RI-SOLVE or go to our website, WPRI.com, to learn more about this investigation and all of the others we've covered so far in this series. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.